This is my response to the U.S. military scuttlebutt to me for asking about parking in Old Town Key West at the site known as Perry Court. First, I was told scuttlebutt, not by the military, that I was going to get hurt. And then I was told scuttlebutt by the military, how dare you challenge the military? We will do as we please. All right. Here is how I dare challenge you. I'm an artist, I'm a musician, and thanks to all the servicemen and women whose blood and sweat has given me the freedom to ask questions and post this on YouTube. I thank you, every service member, living or dead, every retiree, every family member. I thank you for these freedoms. I got a Navy who obfuscate Tear down our ball field and lock the gate And I still love them I still love them I think I'll walk down to Perry Court Gate See if we can get it straight Cause I want them and houses built on our old ball field. So I started digging. What's going on? Oh, it's a done deal, is it? Done deal? Oh, it was accessed for 50 cents on the dollar in 2007. Apparently, along with a lot of other military buildings and large bond issuances, to a British company, at least in Florida and Georgia, maybe 40 other states. Did they get that 50% deal on all the housing? Oh, now that's a deal in a rising market. If you can get it. And to think that a union jack is handling the military housing. I thought our founding fathers took care of that issue 200 years ago. So to know that a Union Jack is wrapping itself in old glory, that's just strange. And the lack of transparency? Ugh. Taxpayers didn't know this land went. Oh, that's right, the land didn't sell. It has a 50-year lease on it. Alfred Beatty holding an exclusive right to sell it. Sour note? For me it is. And the basic housing allotment is being paid to Alfred Beatty. The civilians that are renting on this basis pay less. 
this. And wait, there's more. Taxes haven't been paid on it. In all those years, that privatized revenue stream has not paid the school taxes. So who is uh, husbanding prudently assets of the U.S. citizens? And who is deciding that we need to steal monk money from the kids? Our U.S. Navy? Oh. That's just not right. I talked to a daughter of the American Revolution, and she used the word skullduggery, stealing from her children. Is you is or is you ain't my Navy? Has my Navy found somebody new? The lack of transparency is appalling. And then military is a position. We want our private partners to have a tax-free revenue stream on those military assets. Oh, that's right. They're not military assets anymore because they're sold. The bond issuance, I don't bet that housing a lot, but we're still paying for that. So the U.S. taxpayers are now paying a British management firm to own all the buildings on the military bases. Is it 11 bases just in Florida and Georgia? Wow. With exclusive rights to sell the land and a 50-year lease? What are the citizens getting out of that? I can tell those 160 units, 20 years history, 100% affordable, and it needs to stay that way. obligation to the citizens to stop and start. I just 
this was my screen. Where does your obligation to the U.S. citizens stop and start? When you've taken a private partner and you've turned over assets to them without notice to the first private partner, the citizens, what kind of fiduciary obligation do we have to each other, the citizens of the United States and U.S. military that has privatized assets to a third party, a foreign national business? And what are our obligations to each other? And there's a breach of trust. Thank you.